All right, another quick little video. I wanted to talk about the timing marks on these old Hurricane motors. So, <clears throat> most of them are really hard to see because of where they live underneath the alternator or generator, depending on what yours is running. Back here behind the pulley, on this side of the motor, this is where the timing marks live. And you can see, there's this one still has the bracket attached to it. It's really hard to see the numbers on it, but they're in there. The little tab wraps around the front so you can uh, shoot the timing against the gear. A lot of newer motors, and if you're familiar with small block Chevys, will typically have the timing marks over here on this side so you can see them a little bit easier. But these little motors, they're over here on this side up against this timing cover. Now, <clears throat> I have been told some of them actually run the timing marks on the flywheel and you have to get underneath it and shoot the flywheel to get the timing on it. I haven't seen that, but I haven't taken too many apart to look for it. I have a couple of flywheels laying around. I may go dig those out later and see if I can see some timing marks on them. But in a standard F-134 Hurricane motor, right here is where the timing marks live. 